Hey, what is up everybody? It is AJ here and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to convert ink to text in Microsoft OneNote. If you're here, you probably already use Microsoft OneNote and you wanna get the most out of your digital pen. Microsoft OneNote is an amazing tool and in this video, I'm gonna teach you not only how to convert ink to text in Microsoft OneNote, but a few other tips and tricks to make you even more productive. Of course, if you like this video, check out my other content that are linked down below, which is full of other productivity tips and tricks in Microsoft M365, OneNote and more. Before we jump on the computer, there is one tip I wanna give you if you are using a Microsoft Surface Pen, which is the lasso button. So whether you have an older Surface Pen V4 or a newer Surface Slim Pen, there is a button on here that if I talk about pressing and holding and using the lasso, basically we're pressing and holding that button and circling around. So if you hear me refer to lasso, it is pressing and holding the button on here and circling whatever we're looking after. Okay, with that being said, let's jump on the computer. So we're here in Microsoft OneNote and you can see here's the things that I wanna go through today. The first one, of course, being teaching you how to convert ink to text. And this is gonna be really quite simple. All you need is your pen, or we're gonna go through using touch as well and selecting a pen. I'm just gonna grab a black one from the top here and I'm gonna write anything. I'm gonna say, hey, how are you? So I'm using Windows 11 and this actually learns your handwriting the more and more you use it. So I'm gonna press now on the lasso button. I'm gonna press and hold on that. Circle around here. And this is gonna highlight the text. And at the top here in our draw ribbon, we're gonna scroll over to the right hand side. The fourth or fifth from the right is actually the button of ink to text. We're simply gonna select on the option of ink to text. And it's gonna convert it straight for you. It is really easy. It's really, the more you use it, the more it actually learns your handwriting. We can undo that if we want, convert it back to regular handwriting text, or we can just go ink to text. And you see, we told it the first time that it got it wrong, so then it tries to actually redo it. But if you're writing it out for the first time and it is correct, there is no point actually having to change it around. So let me write that one more time. Hey, how are you? My handwriting is actually a little bit messy there. I'm gonna press and hold that lasso again, go around it, ink to text, and it's gonna convert it. It's really easy, it's really quick. And as you can see, my handwriting is actually really messy, but because I use this feature quite a bit, it learns my handwriting and it's just, the more I use it, the better and better it gets. So that is the easiest way of converting into text. But there are a few other tips and tricks I wanna give you. So we've just gone through converting into text, which is really easy. We are gonna go through adjusting the pen pressure if you have a Surface Pen, but I do wanna show you if you don't have a Surface Pen, but you have, you have a touch screen, how you can still use this feature. I'm gonna scroll down to get a bit more page here, and you can see still in the draw section, there is the button of draw with touch. I'm gonna to select on that. And then now that I've got draw with touch turned on, I can actually do the same thing. It's a bit harder. actually a lot harder drawing with your, your finger, but the principle is the same. You might just have to be a little bit more careful. I'm gonna select on the lasso in the ribbon here because we don't have the button on the pen, and I'm just gonna use my finger while I've selected lasso to circle around this, go over the, to the top where it says uh, convert ink to text, and let's see if it gets it. I actually don't think it's gonna get it this time, but it's still pretty close, right? So when you're drawing with touch, you might just wanna be that little bit more precise uh, just because you don't have, I guess, the fine motor skills of using a pen. If you want to navigate the page here, seeing as we still have the lasso selected, it's just going to keep us drawing and circling around. So you do want to select on the option up here that says select, and that's going to let us scroll the page again. But we've just gone through using ink to text. We've gone through drawing with touch. Let me grab a pen back out. Let's put a line through that. If you do want to draw a perfect line in OneNote, Again, in the draw tab, there is actually the ruler option, and you can use this. Two fingers is gonna let you navigate this around the page, and maybe we don't wanna use a pen, we wanna use a highlighter. You can then do a perfect line. So I can go up here, ink to text, let's put it on zero degrees. Well, we've done that. Draw with touch, we've done that as well. To get rid of the ruler, simply select on the option, uh, and that will either bring it up or get rid of it. So you can see in the convert section up here, whoop, there are three options, ink to shape, ink to text, and ink to math. So I'm gonna show you what those look like as well using the pen. I'm gonna grab my pen back, scroll down to a bit more page here, and then I'm gonna select on ink to shape and draw a circle. 
I'll draw a square. That was a bad square, so I'll try it again. I'll draw a square one more time. If it doesn't work this time, I'll show you another way of doing it. But let's try with the triangle. Now, square one more time. See, it gets it there. So ink to shape is really quite cool. Again, all you have to do is turn on the option of ink to shape. We can test this out with we can test this again with our hand. Let's do a circle, a square, I don't know, oblong. I don't know what oblong is, rectangle. But it works really well and it's super easy to use, right? Again, we're just gonna rub that out, get rid of the draw with touch option, go back to our select. It's gonna let us scroll to the top. Ink to math, I'm not gonna show you that today because that's a different video which I'll link down below. Um, so I'm actually gonna cross that out for now. But I do wanna show you something called search. In Microsoft OneNote, you have two options of search. The top one is searching your features as well as your, I, I guess this allows you to search for settings. Whereas the search on the right hand side, Control E, allows you to search for things in your OneNote documents, including your handwritten text. So I'm gonna select on the word search. I'm just gonna type in, hey, how are you? And you can see here, it's actually pulling up every time I've written the word, hey, how are you? And it's gonna show me all the pages that have the word, hey, or how, or is, or are. And you can see here, it's actually, if I select on this page here, it's gonna bring us straight here and show us everywhere that it finds the words, hey, how are you? And it highlights them. The cool thing here is that it understands your handwritten uh, text. So, hey, how are you is highlighted in yellow, as well as, hey, are you? So whether you're searching for something that you wrote by hand or you wrote by typing it in, the search option is gonna work really well for you. So if you take notes with your digital pen, be you can be confident that just searching for it is still gonna find that note for you. The last tip I wanna give you is if you are using a Surface Pen, is adjusting the pen pressure of the Surface Pen in the Surface app. To do this, we're gonna scroll up into our Start button and we're gonna go over to the Microsoft Surface app. And this here is gonna allow us to, you know, look at what our device settings has. Sorry, Sue, not you. Um, you can see our Surface Slim, Slim Pen down the bottom. And down over here on the right-hand side, there is an option of pen pressure. If I drop this down, this allows me to actually adjust how much or how little pen pressure I want from the pen. So if I go heavy, I don't have to press very hard to make it a heavy ink line. If I go light, I do have to press harder and lighter to get more or less ink out of this. You can always reset it to go back to center, but that's a tip if you have a surface pen is how you can adjust the pressure. And of course, there are some options in the advanced, which just shows you basically the output of pressure to the output of the thickness of the pen. So it's really quite cool. And there you have it. It is that simple to convert ink to text in Microsoft OneNote, as well as a few other tips and tricks that I thought you might like. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to supercharge the way your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.